Hello, my name is Melissa Guillen, and these past couple months I've been working with Dr. Staub at Marin University to examine the innate immunity response of C. elegans with altered lipid metabolism when exposed to pathogenic toxi. So to start off, in the next 30 years, the ratio of individuals over 65 in a country is predicted to reach 20% of the population. One of the definitions of aging and can be defined as a ratio between damage accumulation and compensatory mechanisms, which may include DNA damage, organelle deterioration, and protein misfolding. So as we age, our physiological ability has been shown to decline, leading to physical and even mental impairment. Likewise, our understanding of cellular mechanisms of healthy aging is crucial. Sphingolipids are key components of cellular membranes and this pathway has been shown to be very important in mediating cell survival, stress response, and aging. Sphingolipid, specifically, the sphingolipid ceramide has been shown to already accumulate as animals age. Our lab specifically studies mechanisms of aging and elucidates cellular pathways which promote healthy aging. We use the model C. elegans to examine the roles of lipid metabolism and health span. These organisms have a conserved sphingolipid pathway, making them a useful genetic tool to study lipids and aging. In this experiment, we use lifespan assays to show that C. elegans mutants with altered ceramide production have affected lifespan. We use the mutant ASM3 acid sphingomyelinase, which converts sphingomyelin to ceramide, and the HIL2 mutant ceramide synthase, which converts sphingosine to ceramide. We are investigating the ASM3 mutant, which has a deletion of approximately 1,400 base pairs, and the HIL2 mutant, which contains a two base pair mutation. It's already been shown that the ASM3 mutants have, have been shown to be long-lived and resistant towards death induced by oxidative stress, and this can be seen right here on figure one. While our HIL2 mutants have increased hypoxia sensitivity, and have performed poorly under stress tests, and this can be seen by the, the really low green line down here. So next we examined um, autophagy, which is a process known to recycle damaged cellular components. Um, and this pathway has been shown to be affected in aged organisms. So autophagous information within this process has also been shown to be affected in the single lipid pathway. So we were able to use our genetic worm cross strains with LGG1, which is an autophagy marker, and examine the autophagy formation in our ASM3 mutants. And you can see by, in figure A, you have a diffuse pattern, while in figure B, it is more of a punctated pattern. Um, but our main role for the semester was to examine the innate immunity response of C. elegans. And this can be seen by the middle panel over here. So. Um, dietary response in the intestinal cells uh, was observed through the expressions of the RG1 gene, which is a marker for NA immunity in both the HIL2 and then our ASM3 worm crosses. And we were able to expose these to a toxin, which is specifically exotoxin A, derived from pseudonomous aeruginosis. And then, as you can see, uh, there is a significant difference between our controls from untreated to exposed to the tox A. And then there was also something interesting with our HIL2. They seem to have shown a slight increase and there was no increase between our ASM33 strains. So together we are exploring a link connecting the sphingolipid metabolism between autophagy and innate immunity. This will also further our understanding of aging cells and their response to the environment. So if you're curious to know anything about how this project was conducted or more details about uh, our protocols, uh, please feel free to stop by my poster. Thank you so much.